Hi there, welcome to this video on the unbuffed V-Pick Dimension, another great pick from V-Picks, a company in the States. Um, so what we have here today is a little variation on the V-Pick Dimension that I've demoed previously before, um, except a slight difference on this one. But starters, let's just go into a little bit more about the V-Pick Dimension if you've never heard of these people before. Now V-Picks themselves are a pretty good company, they make um, Collections that are pretty unique, looking at these, you can see they're pretty chunky picks, we'll take a closer look at those in a second. But they're made of this sort of acrylic material which clings to your hands once the plectrums are warmed up a little bit. So if you ever have problems with plectrums moving about in your hands um, when you're playing, then you know, I seriously recommend giving these a try, these are definitely for you. Because they're also made of these materials, they give um, a special, you know, a sort of... Um, a very unique tone when playing it. So, for example, I'm just going to play with the um, buffed version. This is one that is, see, it's got a nice sort of smooth edge to it. Just playing quickly with this. Very strong attack. I mean, I play pretty hard anyway, but this is, uh, it certainly helps to augment that, and it's a pretty good pick. But one that we're going to have a look at today is this one here. Now this one here has um, it's got a very sort of unfinished surface around here. Not unfinished that it's untidy or, poor, or poorly made. It's more to do with the fact that it's just very rough. And so on when you're playing, it gives a very sort of characteristic sound. Think Brian May from Queen. You know, when he plays, he uses a coin, and so you get that characteristic sort of chip before each note. Well, this is very much the same, except because it's unbuffed. It's, um, it helps to sort of accentuate that a lot more. So, here's a little lick, just using the, uh, the, the unbuffed version. And here's a lick, using the buffed version. This is the uh, one with the finished surface. Okay, so you can hear the difference, it's quite apparent. I'll do that again. Here's the first version. Well defined notes there with this one here. Okay, in this case, you know, it's still quite nice, it's still a nice one. I do prefer this, I do quite like this one, but at the same time, if you like a very sort of strong pick attack, then I suggest you give this one a try. So let's have a look, compare these two a little bit closer so you can see them in a bit more detail. Right then, so here we have a couple of brand new V picks. Let's so we've got the regular one just here, and the unbuffed one here. So let's take a closer look at them. Let's start with this here. So, you can see it's a pretty chunky pick looking from the side there. You know, there's a lot of give on there, but you can see by looking at them that both of them have these sorts of, um, you know, both of them have two different edges. You've got the rounded edges at the top and the pointed edges at the bottom. So that's a characteristic of this particular kind of plectrum. One of the things that makes it unique and first attracted me to start using these plectrums in the first place. But if we take a close look at this one here, the unbuffed version, you can see that around the edge here, we've got a very sort of like rough and finished surface, certainly compared to this one here. And that's what gives it the tone. So also just as well to compare these, because a lot of people see these plectrums and think they're absolutely massive. But just move these over a little bit. We've got a regular size plectrum just here. And they also do the V-Pick dimensions and even smaller ones as well, if that's what you like. So yeah, give them a try, see what you can do. Right now, so that you've uh, found out a little bit more now about these picks, let's hear these different edges in action a little bit more. Okay, so we're gonna start with the, the sharp point. We're gonna compare this to the, uh, the sort of more rounded points on the edge here. So here's a sharp point. more warmer when it's plucking the strings.
Right, so let's compare how the different edges sound. We're going to start with the, uh, the sharp edge, the uh, sort of uh, more pointed edge, as you can see there. Let's see how this sounds. This is the more sort of rounded, uh, flatter edge. Well, not really flat, but it doesn't have as much of a point as this one. Okay, so there's definitely a difference there between the two, both in the sound that's produced and all the sort of way that it feels. I like the pointed edge to give a more brighter, responsive sound, and also for playing faster. The smaller edge allows for that, whereas the duller edge, it's sort of uh, it's more more rounded tones. I play a bit of blues from time to time, and so therefore this edge gives you that sort of bigger, rounded tone that you can use for that. Again, it really just depends on the kind of tone that you want, but this pick has it all as far as I'm concerned. I'm not going to be changing my picks anytime soon, so I suggest you give it a try and um, see what it can do for you.